no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. <laughs> This is the X-12. It is the starter pistol in Modern Warfare 2, and its real-life counterpart is the starter pistol in pretty much every first-person shooter you've ever played. In terms of damage, it is the fourth best pistol out of five. The only gun worse is the X-13, which is just this gun, but automatic. Its other statistics are incredible, though, and if you build this thing the right way, you can honestly get two or three shot kills at pretty decent ranges. The worst part about the X-12 is you're going to have to level up literally every other pistol in the game to get the attachments you need for this build, which I will show you in a second but before i do that it would mean a lot to me if you guys would consider leaving a like and subscribe because i post daily here but let's take a look at those attachments usually for my class setups we start with the secondary then go back to the gun we're using but today the gun is the secondary so for the rest of the class the tack is a stun lethal's a semtex perk package one double time battle art and fast dance quick fix healed upgrades are dead silence and munitions box we're gonna start with the attachments that have zero tuning on the x12 and unfortunately if you want to make this exact class setup you're gonna have to level up every other pistol like i said the only attachments on this build that i have from the x12 i think are the magazine and the trigger and honestly the magazine may even be from the x13 because i'm 90 percent sure to get the laser which is the fgx dyad 70 you're going to have to level up the uh, gs50 but for this you get aimed on sight speed aiming stability and sprint to fire speed going to the other attachment that has no tuning i have on the 24 round magazine mo bullets mo beta but to what level i'll leave that up to you if you want to use the 33 round mag go for it if you want to use the 50 round mag go for it i really wouldn't recommend the 50 round mag for a semi-automatic pistol especially considering how badly this is probably going to hurt your handling, but I think you could get away with a 33 round mag. I just didn't think it was necessary, so 24 for me. Going back to the rear grip, we have the Cronin Lima 6 grip. Be quick on the draw and faster to aim with this tactical grip from Cronin. Pistol fast draw, sprint to fire speed, and aim down sight speed. Pistol fast draw is the thing whenever you're out of ammo in your main weapon, then you immediately swap to your secondary, but both guns are still out. That was a terrible explanation, but it's the weird pistol swap animation that people get in this game sometimes. This is the attachment that does that. Into the tuning for the rear grip, maxed out for aim down sight and sprint to fire. Going to the trigger, we have the XRK lightning fire trigger, a sensitive and responsive rapid fire trigger designed for lightning fast shots, and that is exactly what it does, plus fire rate. That's all we're getting from it, though. The cons are minus sprint to fire speed and aiming idle stability. I'm not worried at all about the aiming idle stability. The sprint to fire speed for some people might be a bit of an issue. Personally, I didn't really notice a fall off with it, like, in the slightest. But if that is a problem for you, you could always use the XRK TR R9 trigger. You're getting a little bit of the aiming stability that we lost anyway back in less fire rate, but I personally think that more fire rate in this case is just better, because it is a semi-auto weapon. You're going to want to put as many shots on target as you can as quickly as possible. So I use the lightning fire. You can use the TR9 if you want. But to make up for the lack of sprint to fire speed, I did completely tune it for aimed on sight speed and sprint to fire speed. And then finally, the big boy attachment that has been postponing this class setup for so long because I had to level up the p890 to get this thing the ft steel fire suppressor this silencer offers excellent sound suppression range and decent recoil smoothness the biggest reason you want this is because this is the only suppressor i think that does bullet velocity and damage range the recoil smoothness and sound suppression are just bonuses because honestly there's not a lot of recoil with this gun anyway and the sound suppression is just always nice because people in pubs are dumb in the tuning, I have this completely maxed out for ADS speed and bullet velocity. Now, I genuinely wasn't expecting to have the game I had whenever I hopped into the match you're about to see, but this shipment match, I was literally John Wick for 10 minutes. These are the five attachments I was using. These are the tunings I was using. If you guys enjoy the video, the class setup, or just want to show support to the channel in general, leave a like and subscribe down below. If you guys have a great day after the video ends, I'll talk to you in the next video. Boys and girls, a pizza. Let's see if pistol shipment works any better than Tarak shipment, which you're not going to see. I had a really good uh, Mercado Las Almas gameplay with 55 kills of this thing with over a 2.0 KD. The clip in the intro had that game. The clip in the intro was from that game, rather, but my uh, recording software went rogue and, you know, deleted it. Hello, 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 teammates, help! Don't let Shield Man just run around willy-nilly like we can shoot at him. It's okay, it's how the game works. It's literally half the game. It's in the name. It's a first-person shooter, not a first-person watch him beat your teammate to death. Like, dude.
fuckers. Why did that guy not die? I guess I'm just bad. Fair enough, I guess I should just get better. Like, they're just laying down. Like, bro, go play Naughty, the Naughty playlist, Naughty Nightwear, whatever the hell that game is called. Why are they spawning on the objective? Like, is that not, like, the number one thing that shouldn't happen whenever you're coding spawns? Like, cause I don't know, man, as a competitive player, if I had enemy players spawning in the objective, I would be pretty upset. I actually got a gunship using a pistol. I mean, whatever, all right. This is probably not gonna go the way I want it to go because they're shooting everything down and the gunship honestly in this game is kind of ass. Incredibly not good. Like we're out here getting hit markers with missiles because the spawn protection in this game is so ridiculous. Dude, these guys are playing weird now. Also, what is with this gas grenade? Oh, of course the guy with the CDL skin figures out that jumping is the way to beat me. Yeah, I can't see that guy. Can't tell if that guy was just pre-firing or shooting my body. Like, bro, I'm using a pistol. If you're upset at me for using a pistol, that is a you problem, bro. Isn't that hard of a concept to figure out? Just immediately dicks in the dirt whenever they spawn in. What is going on? I can't see. Teammate, you're hurting me. No, I do not know what is going on. All I know is these guys are using M4s and, like, the best guns in the game, and I'm using my little pew-pew. These spawns are fantastic, by the way. Oh, please, bro. Am I getting my body shot? Like, are y'all that mad at me? My bad, boys. My bad. Damn, we lost. Well, I had 106 with a pistol. So, let's hope to god my recording software doesn't just decide to delete this recording too, because that would be horrible. 106 and 38 with a pistol. <laughs> I understand it was shipment, but... Alright, whatever, dude.